Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus X509M model. The exact complete model for this one is an X509MA-PR407TF. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up, repaste your uh, CPU. If yours is running really hot or you just feel like it's really heating up, you might want to repaste it. And by doing repasting servicing, you're not going to avoid your warranty or you're not going to uh, do any configuration, reconfigure anything in the system. It just uh, repaste and power it on and you're ready to go. Ready to go. All right, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using for this service and I'll leave the link in for everything I use in the video description. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. This one, it is missing one screw in the middle. Sometimes they do fall off. The tool number one I'll recommend you guys to get is an iFixit screwdriver set. These are one of the best screwdrivers out there. And they are made out of the S2 class steel metal. And we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the simple set. For the opening tools, in this case, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks, 0.3 millimeters are really tough and good to use it for opening covers. Uh, we are gonna be using a plastic spatula. You can use a wood stick if you want. A very important one is an alcohol isopropyl or isopropyl 99% plus, nothing under that. One sheet of the workshop towel and your favorite thermal paste. For these models, I will always recommend you guys to go with an Arctic MX, MX4, MX4 or MX5, do not go anything higher, it's not worth it. All right, and also you need a toothbrush, you use our new toothbrush to do this service. Uh, curved tweezers, good to have. And let's get to it. There's uh, three types of screws on the bottom of the laptop, the short ones in the front row, the medium side to side, the back ends are the longest screws. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful helping you out to do your own services, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now you want to grab the opening tool. You want to start from the front corner right in here. You want to stick the opening tool right in there, about two or three millimeters in, and you just want to twist it, and you want to hear those click sounds. That's all you want to hear. You want to do that all in the front end. Go to the side, all the way to the back corner. This end too, by by the ventilation, and that should be all. Sometimes if you want, you can do the back end, but it's not necessary. Put it down, lift up the bottom cover, wiggle it around. And you can see it is kind of dirty here. You can take it outside, blow some air and clean it up. And down here we're gonna see the battery and horrible cooling system. So there is no heat pipe or anything in here. The fan is all the way to here. It's just kind of blower. It sucks the air through here and blows over the motherboard over the this i don't even call this heat sink i just call a heat dissipator or some kind of there's no heat pipe or anything over the cpu and that's why it's getting overheated too much so there's no heat pipe condenser or anything like that but anyway we're still going to replace the thermal pad under here so this is what i call a tablet pretty much it's like a processor tablet it's not a regular good processor anyway so first what we're gonna do, we're gonna disconnect the battery. So disconnect the battery, you wanna push this metal cover back by one half a millimeters, put the spatula underneath and fly it upward. Next, we wanna disconnect this uh, fan cable. Just by not pulling the cables, I'm gonna grab this black jack by my fingers and just gonna pull the jack upward. Now, you can take the fan outside and, and remove it completely by removing one, two, three screws. 
and remove it, take it outside and clean it, or just leave it on top and use a toothbrush, clean the fence, and just blow the air through here and push it out. And that's why I disconnected the cables. When you're blowing air through here, it, will, it might spin the other way around or it spin a little too much and the voltage will go to the motherboard. You can damage the motherboard. So that's why I always say, when you wanna blow the fan in, on the laptop, disconnect the cables. That's one. Now we're gonna remove the bracket, the heatsink. If you call it heatsink, we're gonna remove this one. Two screws, one on each side, remove it. And remove the heatsink. And there we have it. Yeah, just a piece of aluminium over. And they do actually sell this one, like a no shame on them. Like a, you wanna sell a piece of one gram aluminium? Anyway, so grab one sheet of the workshop towel, grab your alcohol, soak it in there, and you start rubbing over the CPU. Just make sure the crystal die is clean. You don't have to worry about around it, just like that. Clean up this horrible heat sink. What I would really recommend you guys to do is to grab a copper shrimp. Grab yourself any copper shrimp, about 1.2 millimeters. Now I would say go with a 0.3 or 0.5 millimeter copper shrimp. Just like that. So what I would recommend you guys, put a thermal paste in there, put the copper shim over, and put thermal paste on this side, and then put this one on. The copper will help dissipate the heat a little better, way better, so grab yourself the copper shim and put it on top. This is a client of mine, so they're not authorizing me to put anything on it or paying for it, so I'm just gonna put the thermal paste, one drop on top, and you want to grab the heat sink and you want to put it on top and you want to put the screws on it i'm just doing a few rotations so you hold it and then i'll put this one then i tighten up the screws and there we have it once you have the heat sink in there if you have taken, this fan is pretty clean. If you have cleaned it up, put the jack right over. Make sure the jack for the battery is pushed all the way back. Bring the connector straight down and push it in the jack. With your fingers or plastic, just bring the lock back over. And that should be all. Next is to just grab the bottom cover, put it straight on top. Make sure the cables are connected. And push it down, you wanna hear those click sounds, that's what you wanna hear. All those click sounds. Once it's done, you can put the screws on the bottom cover. Remember the short screws are in the front end, mids in the back, middle, and the long ones at the back end. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.